Pingdom is a comprehensive end user monitoring tool with over 100 probes around the world for synthetic tests, as well as real user monitoring capabilities. It is a reliable, lightweight SaaS solution that requires no agents to be installed and puts virtually no load on infrastructure or applications you're monitoring. It is affordable and quick to value. And as we'll show in this video, getting set up is a breeze. We can begin collecting data in a matter of minutes. Let's start with the visitor insights or real user monitoring section. To add a site, all you'd have to do is click on this green button and provide a URL. That'll generate a code snippet that can be placed anywhere on your page above the body. Once we do so, you can see we begin collecting a number of different metrics, things such as the current active sessions, load time, app deck score, and bounce rate. We can also filter this information based on geography, platforms, and browsers. In addition to the user experience, we collect performance-related metrics, things such as the load time, broken down by front-end, back-end, and network time, as well as an overview of the top pages by both page view and load time. This information can also be looked at over different time ranges, as well as shareable via a link to access this report. Let's move on to the synthetic tests. We'll start with uptime. To get started creating an uptime check, all you have to do is click on the Add New button in the upper right-hand corner. And from there, you can begin to define what your check looks like. You give it a test interval, as well as determine what type of check you want to do. From web, where you'll be monitoring a specific URL or IP, to some network availability, from a simple ping test to a port, as well as some email servers. You then determine where you want to test from, as well as some alert settings, so who to alert in the case of an outage. After that, you define what your alert thresholds are and when you want to be alerted. You can include a custom message, as well as get an alert when the service is back up. We have a number of integrations, one with our App Optics tool, as well as a generic webhook that could be used to hook into a variety of other services. Now, let's move on to PageSpeed tests. To add a new page speed test, all you have to do is click on the green button in the upper right hand corner, enter the URL that you want to monitor, and determine where you want to run the test from. Once your test runs, you'll have the ability to see this report. This report combines data from the last seven days compared to the seven days before that. You'll see we give you a performance grade, which is based on why slow best practices. We also give you a load time, page size, and number of requests. You can see things like the page load time over time, as well as our timeline view, which is going to look at every single element on the page and give you a detailed description of how the time was spent. You can also drill in and see the response and request headers. As we continue down the page, you can view individual tests by clicking on any of the links here, as well as the content size by content type, the requests by content type, content size by domain, and requests by domain. Let's move on to our final check, transactions. Transaction checks give you the ability to build a script that lets you monitor critical workflows. To get started, click on the Add New button, determine your test interval and where you want to run the test from, and then you can begin building your script in the check editor. From here, we'll start by going to some URL, in this case, our demo website, and then you can see you start to have a number of options in terms of what you can do, from clicking on particular page elements, to filling in fields with some text, to basic authentication, to waiting for some element to exist. We'll start with something simple, like clicking on one element. And then we'll do a little bit of movie magic and show you a more completed transaction check. Now that we have our workflow in place, you can see we're testing the ability to reserve a room on this hotel booking website. Similar to uptime checks, we have a number of alert options available. So we can determine who we want to alert and then when we want to consider this down, as well as including custom message and an alert integration.